Once your Ubuntu download is complete, it's time to determine whether or not you'll be doing a physical or virtual installation. If you're going to be installing Ubuntu 14.04 virtually, then all you'll need is the ISO image file that you've already downloaded from Ubuntu.com. However, if you would like to perform a physical installation, a more traditional installation of Ubuntu Desktop, you'll need to burn this ISO image file to either a DVD or to a USB thumb drive. Now there are two pieces of software that I would recommend to you if you're not sure what programs to use in order to accomplish this. Perhaps you've never burned an ISO image file before. If you would like to burn the ISO image file to a DVD, then you can download a free program called Infra Recorder, which you see here. You can do that by visiting the infrarecorder.org website. Once you're on the website, you can click on Downloads over here on the right, and then you can download the installer. Now, if you would like to burn this ISO image file to a thumb drive, perhaps you are performing a physical installation where the computer does not have an optical drive, or you don't have any blank DVD-Rs available, you can also burn this ISO image file to a thumb drive, and it doesn't even have to be empty, however it's recommended that it is empty, but you can do that using Universal USB Installer. Now you can download the Universal USB Installer from a website called Pindrive Linux. That's PindriveLinux.com. Pindrive Linux here will give you the download for the Universal USB Installer. Now I want to walk you through both of these setup processes here, remembering that you can skip the rest of this module if you're going to be performing a virtual installation. So if you're performing a virtual installation, you can go ahead and proceed to the next lecture now. However, for those of you who are performing or would like to know how to perform a physical installation of Ubuntu, we'll begin by burning the ISO image file to a DVD. Once Infra Recorder opens, we'll go to Actions and then Burn Image. We'll navigate to the location where our ISO image is stored, in this case, the desktop, and select Open. Now this will open up a new window where we can choose a few options for burning this ISO image to a DVD. Write speed can usually be set to maximum. The write method can be session at once, we only want one copy, and these down here uh, can all be checked except for simulation. We want to eject the disk after writing, although you don't have to select that. Buffer underrun is not necessary, uh, but can be checked. Pad data tracks is also not necessary, but can be checked. And we do certainly want to close the disk after writing. The only one that we absolutely do not want checked is simulation. If we have simulation checked, the disk won't actually burn. It will simply simulate burning to the DVD-R. That means the laser in your optical drive will actually be turned off during this process. Once we're done and we have the correct optical drive selected up here, and a blank DVD-R in the optical drive, we can select OK, and the burn process will begin. Now, in this particular case, I don't have a DVD-R inserted, and Infra Recorder knows it. So insert that DVD-R and then hit OK to continue if the burn does not proceed automatically. If you would like to install Ubuntu using a USB thumb drive, you can open up the Universal USB Installer. Now, this program does not have to be installed on your computer. Instead, you just download this executable and run it, and then every time you open it, you'll agree to the terms, and here you can select what type of operating system you're wanting to install. In this case, we want to install Ubuntu, and we already have an ISO image file, which we can browse to. It's going to be on our desktop. Here it is, and we'll select 
open. Now we can select our USB drive. I have a USB drive installed here, but I don't want to use that drive. Be very careful and make sure that the USB drive or hard drive you select is truly the USB drive that you want to use in order to create a thumb drive that can install uh, Ubuntu Linux. Otherwise, you could damage that USB hard drive. You could have some data loss there. Uh, this box here will enable you to show all drives. Now, this would include drives that are not recognized to be USB thumb drives. Use that with caution. There is usually, usually, no reason to have that box checked. It just poses a risk. You would check that box, of course, if you were not seeing your USB thumb drive here, and you know for certain that the drive you have selected is your USB thumb drive. After selecting your USB thumb drive, you can also choose to set a persistent file size for storing changes. This is not going to become necessary for creating an installation media only, an installation thumb drive only. However, if you wanted to run Ubuntu Desktop off of a thumb drive, which you can do, you would want to have some kind of persistence. In this case, we do not need any persistence for this live copy of Ubuntu as we just want to use it as an installer. And so zero megabytes will be fine and we will then hit create. Now again, this drive does not need to be empty. However, you can choose to format the drive. This is not selected by default. If you choose to format your pin drive, your thumb drive, all of the contents, everything that's already on that drive, will be erased. So be very careful there. We do not need to erase or format everything on the USB drive in order to create a USB installer. However, just know that you can. Once you're ready to proceed, you'll click Create and the process will begin.